One of the most important things if you are ever a property investor is your tenant. But for most of you, you will spend weeks, months, for some of you even years, researching the location, the demographics, um, the type of property you should buy, going to open homes, going to auctions, all about getting that right property in the right location, which don't get me wrong, that is really, really important as it comes to the buying phase, you know, finding that right property. But when it does become your home and it does become your investment property, you move from that finding phase to what we call the managing phase. And when you're managing there, there is a ton of important things you've got to do, but it all revolves around the tenant. And I think it's probably one of the forgotten arts. So, you know, that is important. Um, and, you know, why, Greg, is it that, you know, people forget about the tenant? Um, and why is it so important? And perhaps you can maybe give everyone on the line a few quick tips as to how they can make sure they focus on that tenant. So when they have found the right property, it turns out to be a fantastic property because they manage it appropriately and make sure that income keeps coming through. As you say, James, all these other elements are so important. But once you have a good tenant or you want to attract a good tenant, the key thing is to keep that tenant. So that is where what they're now talking about, the human touch, the old days where you had the vicious landlord who didn't give a damn about his tenant is gone. You've got to, you've got to be looking at this as you providing a service almost, that you, you're providing a service for rent. So it's, it's a very different mindset in terms of managing it, whether it's yourself or with an agent, you need to consider those, those sort of issues. Key things about that is maintenance. Every, every time something goes wrong, the old landlord would throw his hands up and doesn't want to spend a cent because I come from a time, as you know, I'm the old guy, where we brought up, we could do anything. We were taught to do things. Something broke, you fix it. Something, mm. you fix it. You'd but, sort of go down the road and look for the... Um... The council pick up with you and find a dishwasher on there and just bring it home and stick just it in bring yourself. It home, fix it up. That's gone. Current tenants or younger people don't know that. They've got no idea. They're, they've it's a different a different generation. They expect like our to... younger kids, Greg. All they know is an iPad, isn't it? That's they it. wouldn't have the first clue as to how to fix it. Un- I've got un- no idea. So they are expecting and they need it. If they're a good tenant, which is what you you're trying to attract, look after them. If there's an issue, make sure it's attended to quickly. Start understanding who your tenant is. Understand why they're in your area. Um, if if they need, if, be, be be flexible. So important that you, in the current way, in the current market, things like that, is that you look after your tenant. Make sure you keep them. Be flexible. Think of as you as doing a service. And very critically, if you decide to use an agent, make sure that agent is not belligerent <laughs> and is actually going <laughs> to. To carry through on that sort of thing, to make, you know, do your research, make sure you're using the right agency that will carry that through to ensure you keep your tenants in the long term, look after them. All right, sound advice. And I can tell you from a, an agent perspective, you know, we're now, um, you know, part of, I think, almost 4,000 properties we manage on behalf of, um, of people just like you on the call today. So we've got a huge, huge rent roll. And let me tell you, one of the the key things that we drive through that business is that we have two customers, right? Most property management businesses will think they have one customer, which is the owner or the landlord, however you want to term it, and that is it. I instill in everyone, and it's very much part of how we work, is we have two customers, the landlord and the tenant. Mm -hmm. And very much everyone that works in this organization has very much got that drilled into them. And they're always thinking that, you know, part of, you know, their job is 50% managing one customer, the owner and the landlord. And the other one is our other key customer being the tenant because you need both of them to make a good marriage, to make a good investment property. And really, that's the difference between having an okay property and an amazing property because the rental income is what keeps you going through that whole period. You know, Lucas talked about it just before. The average whole period is eight years. I said to you, it's probably got to be more like 11, 12, 13 years. So you want to get the most rental income you can possibly get so you get the best return during that whole period. And then you get the cream on top with that capital gain. So really, really important concept. Um, and I think, you know, as I said to you before, you know, we have a sort of a, a three-part, um, you know, triangle framework we talk about where you've got to find the right property, you've got to finance it appropriately, and the key thing, you've got to manage it well. So, you know, it is important to do all those things that we said at the start to find the right property. But once you've found it, 
you've got to focus on that managed section and make sure that you're managing it appropriately um, to keep that becoming a great property that you spent all that time and energy and spent so much money buying, you want to realize it um, and have it be as good as it possibly can be.